Hi, and welcome to Meetings in Math. Today we are here looking at 4.1, writing and graphing inequalities, and specifically we're just looking at what do those symbols mean and trying to make sure that you understand what they all mean through a graphic organizer. So how can I use number lines to represent solutions of an inequality? You're going to need your Jaguar shots, your pencil, a pen, and a highlighter. You might also want different colored pencils today for what we're going to do. You need your Jaguar shots on 4.1 and specifically the ones that already has some number lines drawn for you. You need your positivity, your ded dedication, and your determination. So let's go ahead and get started. The page that you want is 4.1 and it has these number lines. Before we get started, what I'd like you to do is go ahead and get out some scissors and you are cutting this page into some strips along the line that has the scissors you're going to cut right there and then you're going to cut up to this fold line so that you have these things that will fold over eventually okay so be careful you don't cut the next page when you're doing this so i just cut straight across here and then i cut up and up and up and up and up and up just so that i have these tabs right here that will fold up so please pause the video while you do that. All right, now that you've done that, we're actually going to turn our paper sideways today, and we're going to be looking at the different symbols that we use for inequality. So go ahead and fold those all over. If you need to take a piece of paper to make it a little less confusing and slide it underneath, go ahead and do that. So now we have all of those folded over, and we're going to be dealing with the different kinds of inequality signs that you're going to see. And the first one that we are going to deal with is this one right here. So just go ahead and draw that symbol right there. And that is the less than sign. And so it means less than. And it is an open circle. So we represent it with an open circle just like that. And we talk about it as all the numbers that are less than. So if our example is a is less than four, that's how we read it is a is less than four. But I like to think of this a is less than four as all the numbers less than means smaller than four. So just putting it into more everyday language that we would use. So it's going to be the downbeats that we label. So let's start with five and then one, two, three, four, five. So at four, we're going to put an open circle and we want all the numbers less than. And so we just do this. We make sure that our circle is on the number line because if it goes up, we are then in a coordinate plane and we don't want to do that. So how do we check these and how do we make sure that we are in the right place? We can do a quick check. So for example, I can check a equals five. So if I let a equal five and I substituted it into this right here and I let five be less than four, I get a false answer. So I do not include that. So I think of it as a net. So I think of my arrow as a net. So the net cannot go over five. So this side of the boundary is false. If I checked something over here, let's say I checked, I don't know, check any number you want. Um, let's check two. So let's go over here and check two. And I let a equal two and I put it into this. So two is less than four. That is true. So everything on this side is true. So then that there is what I have to cover up is the true side. So anything I check over here is going to be true. Zero is less than four. Negative 10 is less than four. Anything that I put in this inequality would be true. So the arrow always goes over the true. When you go back into your focus notes, or even now, you might want to add that, that the arrow always goes over the true. I'm going to say that one more time for you. The arrow always goes over the true. So we have our first tab done. The next tab, less than or equal to, less than, or equal to looks like that. The or equal to is like putting almost like an equal sign on it. So less than or equal to is a 
closed circle, which is like this. And let's have the equation negative 2 is less than or equal to p. So this is saying that negative 2 is less than or equal to. And again, p I just represent as, I think of all the numbers. Less than or equal to means smaller than. So now let's go ahead and graph it. So negative 2, so I'm going to start this at negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now I have to go to negative 2, 0, negative 1, negative 2. But this time I say close circle. And now I need all the numbers that are, no, I need to say this the right way. Negative 2 is now smaller than all of the numbers. So negative 2 has to be smaller than all of the numbers. So all, so it's the smallest thing that I'm talking about. So all the numbers have to be over here. But if I'm not sure, I can go test a point. So testing the point just means picking something. So let's pick negative 5. So let's let p equal negative 5. So how does negative 2 is less than or equal to negative 5? Is negative 2 less than negative 5? No. So this side is false. And if this side is false, this side is automatically true. So it must have gone that way. It's a good idea to check it. So let's go ahead and check with 0. Let's let p equal 0. Is negative 2 less than or equal to 0? Yeah, it is. So we checked our answer. So now let's check greater than. So the greater than sign goes this way. And we need to be really careful because a lot of you learn like the alligator opens or things like that. No, the greater than sign is always open this direction. So now, because it doesn't have a line underneath it, it is an open circle. And let's have 4 is greater than b. So when we read this, we read this as 4 is greater than b. And so remember, b we think of as all the numbers. So we're just saying 4 is greater than all the numbers. So let's start it at 5 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 0. And we have at 4 an open circle. And now we have to decide which way is our arrow going to go. So we need 4 is greater than all of the numbers. If we're not sure which way the arrow goes, we are going to test a point. And testing a point is something we're going to do a lot. So let's just test a point. Um, I think if 4 is greater than all of the numbers, then all my numbers have to be smaller. So I'm going to test a point over here. Let's test 0. 0 is always a nice number. So let's test b equals 0. So is 4 greater than 0? It sure is. So that means that on this side it's true, and on this side it's false. So our solution, when we're writing the solutions, we don't need to write the part that's in yellow. That's why I'm putting it in yellow, because it's a work. So there we have, b is greater than 0. If we wanted to test the other side and prove that it's false, um, let's test b equals 10, way out here. It's 4 greater than 10, no. Okay, so that leaves us with greater than or equal to. Okay, greater than or equal to means it's a closed circle. And let's use g is greater than or equal to 3. So that means g is greater than or equal to 3. I remember. When I say g, what I'm thinking in my head is all the numbers. So then 3, so I'm going to start with my 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's my downbeat. And at 3, 1, 2, 3, it's a closed circle. g is greater than. So all the numbers are greater than 3. I can do that one in my head. All the numbers are greater than 3. But if I can't do it on my head, that's okay, because then we test a point. So I'm going to test um, 5 into g is greater than or equal to 3. 
So g is greater than or equal to 3. Whoops, I forgot to put 5. That's okay. Yes, 5 is greater than or equal to 3, making this side the true side and this side the false side. And we never go over the false side. Let's go ahead and just test something we know that's going to be false. Let's test um, g is equal to negative 1, which means negative 1 is greater than or equal to 3 is false. So we did not go over it. Okay. Leaving us with our very last one, which is not equal to. Okay, we are going to compare two different things this time. We are going to compare equal versus not equal. Okay. Not equal to looks like this. Equal to obviously is an equal sign. So let's have, um, so not equal to is an open circle. O open circle, right? Right, open. Do you guys get it now? Open starts with an O. It's open. And let's do X does not equal one. So all of the numbers not equal to one. Okay, this is a weird one. So let's have our five, one, two, three, four, five. And so what we're saying is put an open circle at one right there, and then give me all the other ones. I'm gonna use a highlighter for this one because it's everything else. All of the numbers not equal to one. So this is not part of the solution. Even though we don't have a tab for it, I cut this one into a tab and we're going to make this one equal to, which looks like this, which is closed. And we're going to make it equals one X equals one. And that's the only thing that happens. And it is part of the solution. So that is all of our inequality signs in one place and what they mean. Your job today is to make sure you have that finished so that you can use it for a reference. It's a really good reference. Um, when you store it, I would store it this way just so it doesn't get um, mucked up. But when you study from it, the idea is that it's like this. And so what I want you to do is I want you to study from it at least twice and where you have it like this and then you say, okay, what does that mean? And what it means and recall everything you can and then to check your work by opening it up. I want you to do that at least twice before class. All right. Thank you for showing up today. And I'm so glad you joined us where we could explore and get some information written down about inequalities. I can't wait to see you in the next lesson. Remember, be kind to each other because we can always use some extra kindness in our lives. Bye for now.